So this week is Spotify's wellness week. Essentially, Spotify is giving all employees globally this entire week off to rewind, recharge, relax, and everything. And I'm really grateful for that. We did the same thing last year and People really liked it, so they brought it back this year. A lot of my coworkers are actually traveling because of it. I think for me, since it's almost end of the year, I just wanted to kind of like settle back a little bit. I don't know if this is related, but also I'm a Libra, so I'm all about that like balance. So it's like, if I travel a lot already, I want to settle in. I can like be really extroverted and hang out with people, but I definitely need the equal amount of time to get my energy back at home and just like being alone. I'm gonna be in New York this whole week, but I do want to spend this week to kind of do all these like self-care things and just you know taking care of myself so what happened at work now i'm now gonna go meet up with my work best friend did you know you were in one of my first two videos i talked about how i got really close to one of the spotifiers when i was an intern yeah she's a girl yeah and then i never knew and i had to find out she was famous through my intern my summer intern so oh wait, wait, my god i was in a video oh my gosh but i don't think i put your face in it and i feel like after that trip i just like had this like big enlightenment yeah i don't need to think so much about my future very focused on like, okay, this job I need to do this, I need to do that. Instead of focusing on that, it's more like what lifestyle is like, yeah. like what, what type of friendship that you have, what type of friendship that you have. Oh my god, I think Spotify. No, I'm not. So you need a career to like, one, like give you money and then like, it may give you a purpose as well, but it doesn't have to be the only source of purpose in your life. Yeah, exactly. What ingredient are you looking for? It has like canola oil. Like, I had pink today, so it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, we just tried this. Okay, that okay, okay. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mess. 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 Hello everyone. All right, so here's the story. Um, basically, I've been doing a lot more Barry's bootcamp now. It's basically like high intensity hit workout classes. Barry's bootcamp came up with this like 24k challenge for 30 days. You can do a challenge of 10 classes, 15 classes, or 20 classes. I don't know why. I just got really competitive, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do the 10 classes challenge so i thought that was pretty attainable until i did my first class and after that i was like oh my gosh i could not move i think i just wanted to like step out of my comfort zone challenge myself and kind of just put myself out there and just like go do it before i was very fear driven i would like stay away from things that i am scared of but at the end of the day once i do it it's kind of telling myself that like you know, I am capable. Building mental strength doesn't come from doing things that's easy or like within your routine. Sometimes it requires you to step out of your routine and like do something completely different. This is after my third Barry's boot camp. I think you can see some lines and everything. And this is what the back looks like. This is my new workout set. It's from Allo Yoga. I love the dark brown color, especially for the winter. I also love the roughly strap that this top has. The sports bra is also padded, which is good. I also got this little cover up. It's also from Allo Yoga. This outfit itself would be really good for like Pilates or yoga. I think today I'm gonna go get a haircut. Some of you have been asking me what my hair color is. It's actually just my natural color. I've been growing out my hair for the past three years now. In college, I used to have like balayage hair and I'll bleach it and then do like the purple shampoo and everything. 
but I realized it only looks good when you have makeup on. Also, once I started working, I just wanted to keep my hair really low maintenance so I don't have to spend time styling it every morning. Anyways, I've been going to my hairstylist for eight months now and she really knows how to make the hair frame your face well. When the hair grows out, it just grows in the most beautiful way. So this is three months after my last haircut. I think this would have been fine, but I just want the bang to be shorter so it can frame my face better. Keep it full. So can I do it a little bit shorter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the bang, I think it can be shorter to frame my face, like above the chin. Oh, I want to tuck it. Yeah. The layer, can you do like minimal layer? You like. Yeah. I just got back. I changed into my pajama pants because subway seats are gross. Anyways, after a haircut, I dropped by H Mart and I got a bunch of groceries. I think I spent like $65 there, but hopefully the food is worth it. First, I got some sliced pork, roasted seaweed paper. I also got this roller so I can roll my rice with it. A little brush so I can brush the sesame oil. Black bean paste because I want to make um, jajangmyeon. This is like the wafer I used to eat growing up. I used to love the peanut butter one, but they have the taro now, so I really want to try this. It's currently Monday night and I'm doing something very special. One of my friends from college, she posted a story about her doing her nails and I DM'd her. I was like, oh my gosh, can I get my nails done by you? Because they look so good. Hi! Oh my gosh, you look so good today. Thank you. Do you want anything to drink? Oh, can I have a water, please? Or do you want lychee sparkly water? Ooh, lychee sparkly yeah. water. Doing this. So I like during the pandemic, I got really into like dip nails. Ooh, is this like the chrome mm -hmm. powder? The pearl powder. When you cure the top coat on gel, the powder really sticks well to it. Take this brush off the excess. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Do you want like anything on it? Like, Can I a, get, like a, a little pearl. We have this one and then we have this one, which is more pearl like. You go to Taiwan pretty often though, right? I used to go like once a year, but because of the pandemic, I didn't go for two years. Uh -huh. But I was able to go back this May. Yeah. Ooh. When I first saw them, I was like, oh my god, I'm so used to seeing you guys on FaceTime. But now it's like so weird seeing you. You're right in front of me. Yeah. This is cute. It really takes a lot of patience. Yeah. Like I think it's the same as like the concept of cooking. When yeah. someone enjoys the food that I make for them, it makes yeah. me really happy. Mm -hmm. So if someone like really likes the nails that I do for them, it's like it, I feel very good about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So pretty. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Do you like the I love it. It's literally so pretty. I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. And these Dude, are just... her nails are so like insane. I can't believe she did it by herself. <laughs> After my third Barry's bootcamp class, I can start seeing my ab lines a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gaining more like muscle on my thighs, and this is what my side looks like. You can also see my little baby biceps start showing up. So I woke up today and I think I'm sick. My nasal area has been really congested. I start coughing a lot. I probably got the flu. It's definitely gotten a lot colder in New York with the fall season. And I've been really craving like hot soup and hot porridge. So I'm gonna try to make Taiwanese porridge. I found this recipe online. If spring is the season that wakes me alive, and fall is the season to contemplate life. Oh. I don't know what it is. 
is it exactly in this time of year that makes the melancholy me reappear? Oh, 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 I'm like fine. Back and forth through dark roast coffee, salt mist and sea, sand and amber trees. Cause it still feels like summer, but it's soaked in nostalgia slowly. All the leaves are turning. I'm finally wearing this jacket I got from Sandro last year's Thanksgiving. This is my all-time favorite perfume. Next time you go to Sephora, just try smelling this scent. It smells just like this, like you just woke up in clean bed sheet on a Sunday morning. <laughs> So this is after my 7th Barry's boot camp. I feel like my abs has a lot, a lot more definition. I feel like my um, shoulder is a lot stronger. Like the muscle definition is definitely a lot more obvious. This is what my full body looks like. And this is what my side looks like. The other day after my Barry's boot camp class, um, they have like a little um, merch area outside the classroom and I saw this top and I thought it lo just looks so good. I think I'm definitely influenced by it because I've been going so much and like I'm bought into the brand. I love how it's padded and it cuts at the right length. Um, I also really like this strap. We are almost there. All right. I'll see you guys at the gym. Doing my 10 berries class with my friend Crystal. She's the first friend that will actually come to berries with me. Yes, I feel so achieved now. Yeah. Yes.